It may not have been enough to win him the round, but Robles definitely had some moments in that round. He came on the attack, and look at that right, and there's what I think was the best punch of the fight, that left hook. Good combination for him, but probably not enough of them. The round two, definitely very competitive. And in the corner of Gerardo Robles, they were asking him to give, show some body punching this round as well. Don't just lunge out at the head. A looping left hand from Magdalena did get there, a right hand from Robles. Magdaleno, as you can see, is very skilled in there, and he's going to have to be skilled because of that lack of real, you know, shocking power. In fact, his last six victories, Barry, have been by decision. On the other hand, five of the last six wins for Robles have been by knockout. Robles is the better puncher, but he's just not landing the shots. Tried to dig one to the body there, but again, Magdaleno is just busy. That was a good sharp right hand from Robles, but Magdalena with an answer. Again, a body shot from Magdaleno. And Robles comes back with one of his own. I think if Robles is going to win this fight, he's going to have to start to try to rough Magdaleno up. Maybe easier said than done. Well, it's what, what we talked about in the last round, taking some chances. When you take some chances, you're going to maybe be a little bit reckless, you're going to get caught at times, but it gives you actually a greater percentage chance of winning. There's a good left hand from Robles. He's throwing some surprise punches. He's just awkward enough to catch. Sharp right hand and a left hand behind it. That definitely hurt Magdaleno. Magdaleno holding on now. Robles has a chance in this fight because he's got that edge and punching power. Still a ways to go here. Left hand missed. It's just very tough for a guy like Robles when he, you try to land those shots from the outside against a boxer like Magdaleno who's throwing that jab, moving away. It's a difficult thing. But Robles is getting He's, there. He is getting there, much more in this round. Even getting there with a the jab. Coming to the end of round number three, and I think a much better round for Robles. We're coming back. We take a look, some real hard shots, clean shots landed in round three by Gerardo Robles. It was enough, at least on my card, for him to win the round, Barry. Yeah, I gave him that round also. And interestingly enough, uh, in Magdaleno's corner, they were telling him, just keep coming, that he he can't hurt you, and I, I'm not sure Magdalena would agree with that. Well, they, they want him to stop backing up. They want him to back up Robles. And they told him, stop backing away, stop circling. You be the aggressor. Robles right now is in pretty good punching range. We want to mention very quickly here, a lot of you may have read about the fact that we were going to have Mikey Garcia on this fight card here tonight. His opponent, however, just simply could not make his way here to Las Vegas, so was unable to do it, did not show up for the weigh-in, so the, that bout had to be canceled. We'll see him in the future, but I'm sure you can't argue about the action we're getting here in this no, one. No, certainly not. It's not a hard place to see Las Vegas. There's lots of lights <laughs> and everything. I mean, I would think... And we want to remind you while we have a moment, too, to join us at Fox Sports in helping the Haitian people to recover from that devastating earthquake a couple of days ago. You can make a donation to help the Red Cross relief. And here's all you have to do. Just get on your cell, text 90999, Magdalena opening up a little bit here, and type in the word Haiti, Haiti, H-A-I-T-I, a, a $10 donation will be taken directly from your account. Standard messaging and data rates may apply. Just get on your cell, text 90999, and the word Haiti, and you've made a $10 deduction. 
What we're seeing here is Magdaleno setting down on his punches. He stopped being on his toes in this round. He's going flat-footed. He's getting leverage on his punches. He's standing and slugging with Robles and trying to do what his corner said, which was to back up Robles and be the aggressor. And Robles seems to have hit just about the empty spot. He looks like a tired fighter to me right now. Well, he is wilting a little. Magdalena having a big round here. Robles did dig an uppercut in close. You can hear the Diego chant behind us, Magdalena from Vegas. So he's got a lot of friends here urging him on. He's having a good round, much better round. Yeah, definitely. I think he's worn Robles down. And he's, and he's done what his corner asked, and his corner was right. When he stands his ground, Barry, and doesn't allow himself to be backed up, he's doing better. So a very good round, probably the most complete round of the fight for Diego Magdaleno. We're coming back. Welcome back, we come now to round number five. We're scheduled for eight. This is not unfamiliar territory to Magdaleno. We won eight rounds in his last fight against Jose Nielsen Santos. Won a unanimous decision and appears to be the stronger of the two right now. In the corner of Robles' trainer had something interesting to say to him. He said, he mentioned something about the referee, and he said, don't look for the referee to save you, because he's not going to save you. We've got to save us. Well, he made a good point, and, and Robles did seem to be a little bit out of gas in that last round. See if he gets a second win. He takes a left hand. Magdalena ripping to the body now. Little warning from Jay Nady about hitting on the break. Magdalena may be dreaming of uh, going on to finish Robles here. Yeah, could be. It's been a while since he's had a KO. Well, his last one coming in September of 2008. It's been a while. Comes from a fighting family. His brother Jesse won the National Golden Gloves and represented the United States at the World Amateur Championships. Good job by Robles to turn Magdalena that time. And he misses a wild right hand. He surprises him every once in a while. And he, he must have got a thumb in the eye. I think that was a headbutt. I think it was no, a they're thumb. Ca they're calling it an accident. They are calling it. They are, yes. <laughs> well, Robles is being game. I will say that. He's hanging in there. He's still punching hard. Yeah. Getting a lot more promotion for the dot barbershop, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. It is quite a handsome haircut he has, huh? Well, you know, I just can't even relate. <laughs> Hit him with a pretty good left hand right there. Again, Robles being game, but Magdaleno just kind of outworking him here. End of five, and we're coming back. We welcome you back in Robles' corner. They're telling him you've got to be aggressive, and that is the bottom line for him. Magdaleno, though, not allowing that. Pretty much a pep corner, a pep talk in the corner of Robles. Pressure, pressure, pressure. He said, when you get close, rip to the body. Just rip. It hasn't been too easy for him to get close. Well, that's right. And I think the major damage he's done has been from outside. 
And a second warning for yeah. Keeping his punches up now. Jay Nady, third man in the ring. No nonsense referee. Now Robles is clearly getting bothered by stuff. He's looking to Nady. 